Hey, I'm Jantastic. This is React Holiday, day 23. Today, we're talking about error boundaries. Now, we're gonna start by doing something you typically don't wanna do in your app, and that's to break it. So we have a fetch and release Pokemon action type that we're dispatching, and I wanna change that to some kind of action that doesn't exist. We'll call this bad action. Save that, and if I click, we get an error. Our app explodes as to be expected. Now, React has always had great errors. So when we click on this, it says, hey, you should probably use an error boundary, and we probably should. Now, I'll leave reading this to you, but for right now, we can just copy and paste this. If you don't already have one of these in your app, it allows you to catch and isolate errors uh, without affecting the rest of your page, and you can even log those to some type of service. For, for now, we're just gonna make that console.error. So we just paste in this, change this to console.error, save. And for today, I'm just going to wrap our entire app, though you can use this anywhere in your application. Boundary, take that, paste it over here, format, save. Now, as we click through here, we're gonna get a much more detailed error as well as uh, see a fallback. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of, in this code sandbox environment, sometimes uh, the errors can be a little cryptic because of the way code sandbox is oriented. So if I open up my actual console, I can see um, the actual error that we're getting, which is this error talking about how there's a problem in use reducer. Now we can go into our use reducer and actually return a much more detailed error, if I can find it. So right here, we're just throwing a generic error. I could do something like action type is not a known action. Now when I save this and hit that, go up here and we see that error. So that's error boundaries in a nutshell. You really only need one of these in your app and they're amazing.